our hot dogs right, cut we'll into the guys. thing. This is the best thing I ever bought in my entire life. because he actually uh he bought it he bought a truck i don't think i've ever talked about it on the channel so this used to be logan's wife's truck crazy right now nick owns it i didn't buy it in time nick bought it before me i drove this truck to katie noel's i drove it all over the country i love this truck it's amazing i have a lot of favorite second gens i think that's my go-to thing i'm like I, this is probably my favorite second gen but this is my favorite second gen it's on a 16 inch lift 40s it's pink and I would still drive it everywhere. Full leather, black interior. It's a 24 valve with a six speed. Logan was like the king of second gens. So if his wife had to have like the baddest second gen ever. Nick owns it now. Uh, Nick used to own that white Duramax that I did a massive burnout in on accident. My foot slipped. He bent the rear truss on it. The same way that I bent mine on my brown truck when I took it on a motocross track. Nick doesn't go on motocross tracks. Uh, I don't know how he bent it, but we're gonna fix it. And by we, I mean Brandon, maybe. I don't know, I might help. When I broke mine, I drove it for like two hours. Then we went out and got pizza. We went bowling. Oh no, we went to Top Golf. I did a couple more burnouts with it broken. But like, you probably shouldn't drive on it. We're gonna load it up on the trailer, take it out to Brandon's shop, make it good again. He also wants to redo all the overlays because there's kind of flowers on them. You know, it's 2022, so like, you know, you could be whatever you want to be, but Nick is not that. Also, I'm stealing this hitch. Yeah, I'm definitely stealing this hitch because I need one like this for uh, Megan. I forgot how like nice this truck was. Like, look at it underneath. Immaculate. It doesn't even look like it's get driven. Well, it actually, it doesn't get driven because it's been sitting in this driveway for two months. We just go break into his house real quick and grab the keys. Hey, you, I'm gonna need you to stop everything you're doing right now and listen up. You know how we're giving away Murder Max, my LBZ Duramax shorty? Well, that giveaway is coming to an end very quickly. You guys only have two weeks left to get out and to win that truck. The 2006 Chevy 2500 HD, it's an LBZ Duramax, tuned and deleted, super quick. It's lowered on some weld wheels and NATO 420 Vs. It has a stack now. It is a baller truck, and I can't wait to see who wins it. All you gotta do to get entered is click the link above or in the description today to get entered. Super simple. And on August 21st, we'll be announcing the winner live on my Instagram, so stay tuned for that. Hurry up and get entered before this giveaway is over. Good luck to everybody. Enjoy the rest of the video. That's how you know Gabe's in the area, because the cops are going that way. I didn't do that. I only hit three trees. Yeah, how many fucking telephone I pulled? Only two telephone poles this time.
It's okay, I stalled it once too. I don't know what it is with this clutch, but it doesn't like to be alive. Well, it's not too healthy either. No. Well, that's because it's like about to run out of fuel again. Because the gas station only had gallon jugs. Yeah. And it wouldn't start. Because it was out of it was out of fuel. Like this, this one literally ran out of gas. Like it took oh. off and it, it ran away. Oh. The gas the gas ran away. Nice. The keys are right there? Right there. Okay, I'll just come get it whenever I want to die because the axle's about to fall underneath it. I'm building something like this. Kinda. Kinda like that. It'll be like the bottom of the bed will sit where the top of this bed sits. And then the mirror will probably touch touch that light. That's how big the coilovers are? Yes. It's almost as big as my cop. My boss called me and said that I could have the rest of the day off, so I guess I'm just gonna go like pick up something off Facebook Marketplace or something. I don't know. See what I can get into. We should go on a picnic. You got a basket? Yeah, you got a picnic bas basket? No. Don't get a pic- Okay, we gotta go buy a picnic basket. We need a table too. But we need a table too. And a Ford. Why would we need a Ford Ranger? He said, let me do donuts in it one last time. <laughs> that is amazing. That is so sick. Oh, I love it. Sold. Heck yeah. What you want it? Right there is fine. It looks so pretty outside. There was a rainbow right there, but it's kind of faded. Oh, hello. What the hell is that? Order for Haley John? Uh, yeah, but I don't know what that is. I'll show you. All right. And if they used it, you know it works. The seat is the frame, so it's not really comfortable. Looks comfy. It is. Is the battery dead? Red on negative. And but. blue on neutral. Take 97. Here we go.
What do you have? I'm going I mean, I'm I a... like Boston creams and Boston creams. <laughs> That suspension looks great, dude. I'm selling all my lifted trucks because nobody likes my lifted trucks, but I take this picnic table out and it gets attention. <laughs> I give that a negative 7 out of 12. It needs suspension of some kind. Or spring. My grandpa was saying like a tractor. You put like springs underneath the seat. That might help. But yeah, my back hurts after driving it for like 10 minutes. It's about, it's about yay big. You know, it might fit. I don't know what these are rated for. They gotta be able to hold the picnic table up. I mean, yeah, the picnic table's light. It was literally butter. Like it was made for this. Three, four, five. a picnic table it's also a ford ranger but it's also a picnic table but it's more of like a go-kart it's like a picnic go-kart ranger ford picnic ranger go-kart ford picnic ranger table cart wood a is taking place not far from here i'll chase him with the the picnic table we'll have a picnic and talk about why should not be a thing uh i bought a picnic table it has a freaking motor um i i actually bought a whole nother phone so that i could tell you guys about what is going on because i have no idea what's going on people are gonna ask why would you do this why the f not that's why the motor and trans came out of a uh, 83 ford ranger it, it has a hood stack because it's a diesel this is a 2.2 liter perkins diesel engine it's basically a 4bt with the head of a 24 valve. That's, that's what I figured out of it. I've done research on this, and by that I mean one Google search. It makes 60 horsepower. With the eBay Turbo, it probably makes like 100, maybe. 
the truck that this came out of was this dude's grandpa's, his great grandpa's. And um, whenever he got the truck, the body was a little rough. So he decided to put a picnic table on top of the truck. I see nothing wrong with that. That is that is very smart. Good job, sir. The motor, the trans, and that rear end, yes, it has a rear end, came out of the Ford Ranger. Along with uh, the, the brake booster, that battery probably came out of it as well. The intercooler and a couple other things. And maybe the wheels. Maybe that's where the wheels came from. I, I've never seen these wheels before, but I've also never seen an 83 Ford Ranger. Possibly. I don't know. It has ball joints and stuff like a normal axle, and then it's just like a tube. And you got a Ford power steering pump. I'm guessing this all came off of the Ford Ranger as well. So it has a custom steering system that actually doesn't work that bad. It only gets death wobble when you do like 50 mile an hour, which I mean, picnic tables, I imagine, aren't rated for 50 miles an hour, so that's, that's probably a good thing. But I'm gonna build some like custom with uh, some steering stabilizers and we'll be doing 100 in no time. I'm gonna change these, obviously, because it's mine now. So I have to cover up your name, but you, your, your name will stick around for a second. I am keeping the hot dogs, though. I might build a truck with a hot dog theme now to match whatever this is, honestly. That's, that's dope, that's an awesome idea. It has a hood stack. It has an eBay turbo, which, if you don't know, these are actually the best turbos ever made. A long time ago, I had this 12 valve, the black lawn bed with a 26s. I put seven turbos on that, and the only one that didn't blow was the eBay turbo. So I imagine this thing will give me no issues. Knock on wood. <laughs> that's for an umbrella. Yeah, that's right. I can drive my picnic table in the rain, and nothing will happen. Too sunny out for Nick's pale skin um come on we have we have an umbrella so then you won't get a tan and turn into me the motor is basically stock besides the ebay, ebay turbo uh it's turned up a little bit and by a little bit i mean a lot of it it's like about to uh run away might do injectors maybe a p-pump swap what's new p-pump swap a perkison diesel I don't, I don't know it's got a race bucket seat i'm tempted to take out and throw a living room couch in so then i can drive this thing without actually having scoliosis supposedly seats eight to twelve people or three sumo wrestlers at least a hundred squirrels maybe a 150 raccoons or your mom one of your one of your moms because she's she's kind of on the larger side also i i made a note here it, it, it says best diesel picnic table on youtube so i don't make the rules the script writer the script writer said it so it must be true he doesn't lie I pay him a lot to write these scripts. Does exactly what I think it was built to do. If you guys like it, I will probably be taking it everywhere. Everywhere I go. You will see this wooden trailer that I built with my grandfather when I was like eight years old at every show that I go to now, just so I can bring the picture. Well, <laughs> imagine, just imagine. Come, 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 come sit with me. You know, like we go to all these shows and I hate walking, honestly. Like I hate walking more than anybody in the world. We could just load all of our friends, I love food, put the food on there next to the turbo, and we drive around the shows, eating food, not walking. That sounds like such a good idea. Best $10,000 I have ever spent in my entire life. You know, this winter I'm actually, gonna, I'm gonna tear it apart. We're gonna do a frame off. We're gonna do a 16 inch coilover lift, um, some JTXs, 24 by 20s, um, probably some boggers. I think, that's, I think that's where we're going with this. We shall see though. Yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let my picnic table have a family reunion with all the other picnic tables in this park. That's why I take it, took it to this park. Um, and um, just enjoy, just enjoy the great outdoors. Have a good night.
need a Nerf gun. Oh, dude, drown. No. Bruh. Oh, that's just... Yeah, that's... we found him. We didn't find him. We found his weapon. He's in here somewhere. <laughs> He's it in the lake. <laughs> this guy that's came up with the name theory. for this. Theory. We're calling it the Trucknik Bench. That is the best name I've ever heard in my entire life. I, do I have to pay you royalties? Is that is that what's going on here? No, very happy to see it go on, man. Like, <laughs> we're just out here swimming in the bathtub a couple miles away, and it's just badass, dude. This is very cool. Oh, you thought we were going to buy a picnic table and just drive it around? No. We're eating. Using the picnic table for what its intended purposes. Portillo's highly sponsored. But not sponsored at all, actually. I don't think. Really? They kind of like me, but. I thought they said it was free. He did give me free fries. Shout out to Portillo's. 